Hey y'all, it's Alex and welcome back to my channel. It is here. Promptober or whatever we're calling it this year has finally begun and I'm already feeling the crunch. As we immediately start off this Promptober challenge, I, okay screw it, Inktober is just such a good name I'm gonna keep calling it Inktober. As we launch into this year's Inktober you'll notice kind of immediately as we hop into it that I'm not gonna be sitting at my desk for this first little part. Um, so we'll get into the piece itself in a minute but we are currently in the process of bringing a new member into our family. This is Gigi over here. Um, he is a black cat that just kind of happened to, oh god, and he heard me mention his name. Um, he happened to show up at my girlfriend's family's house and I guarantee you will hear him in the background. He is a little bit of an excessive talker at this point and we're trying to train him out of it. Um, don't worry, he's with Jess, he's not unsupervised, and he probably has everything he needs. But because we're going to be introducing a new cat, we have to keep him quarantined for my other cat, which means someone needs to spend time with him, and that usually ends up being me in the evenings, which is when I do all my filming. And I can't keep him in, my, in our studio, so this meant that I had to take my sketching to him. This kind of breaks Inktober's rules or whatever, but I'm kind of shifting the focus of what the challenge is for Inktober for me this year. Um, I did all of my sketching and line arts for Inktober ahead of time. So you will see a marked difference between the nail polish on the sketching part and the coloring here. I tried so hard to have good nails for y'all this year and it just didn't. It didn't work. It, it just didn't. But um, so yeah, I had to do all of my sketching on this little board. It's I switch over to my actual big ass drawing board a little later, which I don't know why I didn't think about using earlier. But okay, into the actual piece. Enough of my excuses for the um. Okay, actually wait. So because of this, the drawing and the board are just kind of gonna shift around because I'm just sitting on the ground with it in my lap, which. I like so much better than sitting at my desk. I I don't I don't know why. I just I hate working at desks now. And working on this board on my lap, it's been a little bit more shaky for the video and I have to work really hard not to shift out of frame. But it's so relaxing. I can just be wherever I want. My the my filming setup really just moves with me. And we're already most of the way through the sketch and I haven't talked about the piece at all. Okay, into the actual art right now. Um, so today, the day one of Inktober, at least my Inktober, the prompt word was ancient. For the original thumbnail, which is here, it's the only one that was supposed to be for the original. The original word was fish, I believe, but I, once I actually got into sketching for this piece, I, I didn't quite like the setup. I couldn't make the character as big as I wanted if I wanted to include all of the plesiosaur, and originally it also had an ichthyosaur in it. But, so I scrapped that and started a new sketch, and then I got most of the way through that sketch and I didn't quite like how the layout was working. So I scrapped that and moved on to a different sketch. And that's the one you're seeing here. Um, so kind of like the story that formed is this necromancer is taking on familiars from fossils. These She's pulling these ancient creatures out of the rock and giving them life. And she already has this plesiosaur that's kind of floating up behind her, but she's now pulled this dimetrodon out of a rock. So I had a good bit of difficulty trying to pick out which of the, um, which of my favorite ancient creatures I was going to end up drawing for this piece. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel or maybe have missed this in the multiple times that I've probably said it by now, um, I originally went to college for, um, well, originally, originally it was marine biology, and then I switched over into geology. I have a degree in earth science, and if I would have done a little bit more focused study, I probably would have gone into paleontology. 
So ancient life is kind of my jam. Um, kind of, absolutely is my jam. So, oh, little Gigi interview. One problem with uh, me being down here with the cat, I get a lot of cat breaks. You'll see, you'll be seeing a lot of the cats throughout this entire process. So, and also, Gigi's a bit of a runner. I can't open the door, so I couldn't go get a ruler. So I had to make do with this little paper scrap for making a straight line. Something I decided I'd try to do throughout this entire series was use the exact same method of line art. And sometimes when I do characters with a background, I worry that they'll sink too far in. And one of the ways I'm trying to push that is by differing the line weights. So with every piece, the main subjects are going to be like the outline outline is going to be done in a 08 nib and I kind of will switch back and forth between the Copic liner or the Copic multi liner 08 nib and the Pigma Micron 08 nib because the Pigma Micron is not as thick as I would expect, you know? But anywho, um that is going to be a thing throughout this entire challenge. I want all of the pieces to look like they come from the same series. I feel like that was like the one big downfall about last year. Yes, I made a lot of good pieces, but I felt like they were a little disjointed. All right, back to ancient creatures. Um, since I, I, I've kind of always had a love for paleontology and like, obviously I've got a favorite dinosaur and said dinosaur is Stegosaurus, though I can also see the merit of certain others. But the only two skeletons I've reliably drawn over and over are the skull of a Dimetrodon. I've drawn a lot of those and also the full skeleton of a plesiosaur. Now, for this particular picture, I went for an actual plesiosaur. Before, I think I've drawn an elasmosaurus, and there's there's another one, but like, this isn't the first time I've drawn a plesiosaur, just because I love drawing all of those vertebrae. It's, it's tedious, and throughout the sketching process, I was kind of like dragging my feet through it, and that's kind of why it like, half went off the edge of the tape, but I really do like how vertebrae turn out. I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to keep the vertebrae that went underneath the tape, though we'll check back in on that later. So, as you guys know from my Inktober prep video, I'm using the Liquitex acrylic inks and a couple of different types of ink wash. I will apologize for this coloring process. Rosebud was in the studio with me and Gigi was presenting some problems, but I had to go wrangle a cat at some point during the drawing process of the, or the coloring process of this piece. And in that time, I didn't realize that my phone had died. So we're gonna jump forward a little bit. I didn't lose too much of the painting process. I probably only list, missed like 25, maybe 30 minutes, which it takes me a long time to paint these. Um, I honestly forgot how long it takes for acrylic inks to dry. Here she is, perched on top of my printer, just being a good little gal. Definitely a challenge having the cats in the studio, because 
my desk is the one right in front of the window, so they want to come over and sit on it. And obviously I can't let them do that because they'll either walk across the piece or walk directly in the palette. And this won't be the first cat attack that you'll see. Some of them will be off screen, but you can be damn sure that there's going to be some, some cat ink interactions at some point in this challenge if we're not careful. Um, I'm, I genuinely fear for that day. Because <laughs> while my landlords are nice, I don't want to have to replace chunks of carpet. <laughs> Getting back into the feel of acrylic inks was really difficult. Like, I, I don't think I've ever had this much trouble with acrylic inks. I, I couldn't get them to layer how I wanted. I'm starting to see that weird sheen that I only thought I saw on the Bombay India inks last year. But nope, where, wherever I'm laying the, layering them too much, I'm getting them now. And I don't understand why. There's probably something that I'm doing that's not quite right, but I, j I just don't know what it is. And throughout the entire process of coloring this piece, I just- oh, that was- that was another cat attack. <laughs> it felt wrong for whatever reason. Like, I couldn't get the colors how I wanted them. I couldn't- find the shading in- I couldn't get the shading in the right direction, like the shading is coming from behind on part of the rock, or like, I guess you could say it's from above, but it's like casting a weird shadow on itself. And then the shadow on the witch's hat, like from the witch's hat, is at the wrong angle. So I just- one thing I will say about if you ever decide to draw any creature with a large amount of vertebrae like this, be very careful about your shading. Um, I didn't go too dark with my shading, which probably is the only reason why it looks good, but it's definitely very hard to um, get the shading right around all of those um, little spines. Like, they're not spines, but like the bits coming off the sides of of the vertebrae. Ribs? Ribs, technically? Once you get down to the chest cavity. But it's also really difficult to get an even texture with the acrylic ink around the bones. Like, when we get in closer to the fin and trying to get the background color between all of those, it, it was a lost cause. It just there was no way I was going to be able to work fast enough to prevent lines, but at least it kind of gets broken up by the bones. Like, if I'm sitting far enough away from it, I can't tell, at least from an outsider's perspective, but I, I just, I know. I can't, I can't look at it and not be a little, eesh. looks a little rough. So. This piece is kind of tarnished in my opinion because I just... I Last year I really liked the texture given by these inks and now I honestly don't know what it is. I The gray in the background bloomed weirdly around the base of the, like, her hands where she's holding the Dimetrodon. I know I've been kind of off my art game, like, if you follow me over my Instagram, I haven't posted in weeks, though it's not for lack of art. I definitely have art to show, but I just, the, the whole Inktober mess definitely took some steam out of me. I was, I was going strong and then I just, I fell flat and I haven't really been able to get myself back into the habit, which, so since I'm pre-filming all of the sketches and line arts for these, except for day 14, which I will be doing live. This challenge is going to be pretty much just a challenge of getting me back into social media, getting back into posting on Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr and DeviantArt and all of those things, and also getting back into the feeling of 
recording audio for these videos and actually uploading because I've, I've had two videos just sitting there on my computer waiting to be edited, waiting to be like actually recorded for audio and I just didn't feel like it. That There's just been kind of a weird funk around me recently and this challenge I think is going to be really good for getting me out of that funk or at least I hope it'll be good. It'll also certainly be stressful but I mean challenges are supposed to put a little bit of stress on you. I think the absolute best thing that will come out of this challenge is actually getting me to draw again. I, I've been kind of in that mental funk of if my art doesn't really serve a purpose, why the heck am I doing it? And I just want to kick the me of the past few months and just say because I like to draw and I like to tell stories with them. So I, I'm going to kind of be bringing myself back into gear through through the course of this Inktober. And I honestly hope my voice doesn't fail me already. This has been the longest span. Like, I, I record all of my audio in one go. I usually try not to go back for retakes because I forget what I'm talking about even in the base most basic of sentences. So it's just a lot easier to just let it all out in one sprint and then just go back later. So this is the longest I've, at least duration, I've talked in quite some time. Darn you, quarantine. <laughs>Okay, back to piece things. After I took off the tape, I decided that I wanted to keep the line art of the skeleton going over the edge of the piece, which was all well and good and I really enjoy that. But I sat aside and I I just I didn't like the color balance of this piece. I I really wanted there to be more cohesion. So I decided I was going to do a light wash of blue over the entire background. This was not the answer, I don't think. I, I honestly just think that it accentuated all of the bad parts about the, um, the weird bits of the acrylic ink. So I'm starting this Inktober on not the greatest foot I think I could have put forward. I, I absolutely love the line art and I have a feeling that's going to be kind of like the mood of the challenge because that has been the mood of the year. I just color has been so difficult for me and like I really could just go to doing black and white sketches line art but the problem is cross hatching doesn't work with my shaky ass hands and I just I don't want a mess. This system of coloring works for me in a way. So not the greatest of starts, but I certainly am very excited still. Um, I did have to go through and white out some spots where I kind of went over into the bones, so. All right. And with that, we are finished with day one of my Inktober challenge. The prompt word was ancient and tomorrow's prompt word is hollow. I am really excited for the for this entire month. For anybody else who is doing the challenge, good luck. Um, if you do use my list, I'd love to see. Go ahead and at me on basically most social media. If you feel so inclined, hit that subscribe button and check me out on my other social media handles. Thanks, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Gigi! <laughs> no, I'm not having that.